One day, Edward was in the shed with a lift with the other engines. They were all bigger than Edward and boasted about it. The driver won't choose you again, said Gordon. He wants strong engines like us. But the driver and fireman felt sorry for Edward. Would you like to come out today? Oh yes, please, said Edward. So the lettuce fire made lots of steam and Edward puffed away. Other engines were very cross being left behind. Edward worked hard all day. The coach said he was very kind. And the driver was very pleased. I'm going out again tomorrow, Edward told the other engine that night. What do you all guys think of that? But he didn't hear what they thought, for he was so tired and happy that he fell asleep at once. Next morning, Edward woke up to find nothing had changed. Gordon was still boasting. You watch me, little Edward, as I rush through with the express. That will be a splendid sight for you. Goodbye, little Edward. Look out for me this afternoon. Edward ran off to do some shunting. He liked shunting. It was fun playing with freight cars. He would come out quietly and give them a push. Then he would stop and the silly freight cars would go bump right into each other. Oh! They cried. What the hell is ever happening? Edward played till there were no more freight cars. Then he stopped to rest. Presently, he heard a whistle. It was Gordon. Gordon was cross. Instead of nice new coaches, he was pulling a dirty freight train. A freight train! A freight train! A freight train! The shame of it! The shame of it! Oh, the shame of it! Edward laughed and went to find some more freight cars. Then, there was trouble. Gordon can't get up the hill, the poor cold Edward driver. Will you take Edward and push him, please? They found Gordon halfway up and very cross. His driver and Gordon were talking to him severely. You cannot try it. I can't do it. The noisy freight cars hold an engine back so. Edward's driver came up. We've come to push. No use at all. Huh, you wait and see. They brought the train back to the bottom of the hill. I'm ready, said Edward. No good. Grumbled Gordon. They pulled and pushed as hard as they could. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. Puff that word. Edward pushed and puffed and puffed and pushed as hard as ever he could. Almost before he realized it, Gordon found himself at the top of the hill. He forgot all about kind Edward and did not even say thank you. Edward was left out breath and far behind, but he was happy because he had been so helpful. At the next station, he found that the driver and farmer were very pleased with him. The farmer gave him a nice long ring, and the driver said, I'll get out my paint tomorrow, and I'll give you a beautiful coat of paint with blue and red stripes. Then you'll be the smartest engine in the shed. Oh, thank you, sir.